Chancellor Dr. Bjorn Turvey, colleagues, AUS faculty and staff, respected parents, and our new students, good evening. My name is Ali Shohemi. I'm the Executive Director of Enrollment Management. Dear parents and new students, I'm delighted to be standing before you this afternoon to extend to you a heartfelt welcome to American University of Sharjah. We hope that you find this event very inf informative and one that provides essential information you may need about AUS. Please do not hesitate to share your thoughts with us during and after the event. We will be happy to respond to your questions and concerns. Dear parents, we appreciate the confidence you have shown in our university by choosing to enroll your daughters and, and, or, and or your sons at AUS. I want to assure you that you have made the right decision. AUS is not just another university. We are an institution that prides itself in being recognized as a leading university in the region. Our commitment to the success of our students is evidenced by their achieved status in the community. Our graduates enjoy the advantage of being in the forefront of employers' selections. Moreover, their demonstrated competencies at the workplace resonates with, well, well with the remarkable ranking position AUS achieved in a short period of time. Today, AUS is ranked among the best 400 universities in the world as assessed by QNS organization. As you know, your constant involvement in tracking your daughters and sons' performance during their studies at the university is as crucial to their success as our mentoring efforts and guidance. We invite you to take an active role in your daughter's and son's education, and we promise that you will find us doing our best to provide all the necessary and needed support. Dear admitted students, I congratulate you for graduating from high school and for being accepted in this selective and competitive institution. You represent the top 20% scorers of your school graduates. This achievement is proof of your academic competency, which provided the basis for being admitted to AUS. This is a feat you should be proud of. To help you build on your accomplishments, AUS also promises to provide all possible and needed support to pave the way for you to continue achieving your goals. Dear guests, this session represents the official launch of the Orientation and Informational Week for you, for you, our new students and your respected parents. Our aim is to help you gain a comprehensive understanding of AUS and how it operates. At the end of this session, you will visit the Rotunda to meet representatives of our academic and administrative departments who will be available to, to answer all of your concerns and questions. You will also find in the Rotunda our Chancellor, Dr. Bjorn Chervey, Mr. Kevin Mitchell, the interim provost, along with other senior colleagues, deans, and department heads. They will all be happy to visit with you as well. As part of our efforts to introduce you to AUS, we have scheduled many informational, academic, and recreational activities throughout the next week. We hope that you will find the planned activities rich, fruitful, and entertaining. Later this evening, I will go over the schedule with more detail and respond to your questions. Before I finish, I would like to welcome our guests who are joining us uh, also, um, aside from this hall, in, hall in, in two other halls, and actually maybe three or four now. And we're very delighted to have uh, all of you here, and uh, we're very happy to uh, have been able to accommodate that many people you know, in, in all the spaces. Once again, I would like to welcome you to AUS, and I want to thank you for choosing American University of Sharjah. Allow me please to give my greetings in Arabic as well. 
الأستاذ الدكتور بيون تشيرفي مدير الجامعة الأخوة والأخوات الزملاء أعضاء الهيئتين التدريسية والإدارية بالجامعة أولياء الأمور الأعزاء وأعزائنا الطلب الجدد أسعد الله مساءكم جميعا بكل خير وأهلا وسهلا بكم في رحاب الجامعة الأمريكية في الشارقة محدثكم علي شحيمي المدير التنفيذي لإدارة استقطاب والقبول أولياء الأمور الكرام والطلب الجدد يسعدني أن أكون معكم في هذه الأمسية مرحبا بكم جميعا في الجامعة الأمريكية في الشارقة ونأمل أن تزودكم هذه الأمسية بالمعلومات والمفاهيم الأساسية التي تحتاجون لمعرفتها عن الجامعة ونظام الدراسة فيها وبالطبع سيسعدنا الإجابة عما قد يتبادر إلى إليكم من أسئلة أو استفسارات السادة أولياء الأمور إننا نقدر تلك الثقة التي أوليتموها لنا باختياركم لجامعتنا لتدريس أبنائكم وبناتكم وأنتهز هذه الفرصة كي أؤكد لكم أنكم قد أحسنتم الاختيار فالجامعة الأمريكية بالشارقة ليست مجرد مؤسسة عادية للتعليم العالي بل هي جامعة تفتخر بكونها قد باتت في مصاف الجامعات الرائدة في المنطقة وتقف إنجازات خريجي الجامعة شاهدة على التزامنا المطلق بمساعدة أبناؤنا الطلبة ودعمهم بكل السبل لتحقيق النجاحات التي يتطلعون إليها وكما تعلمون فأن خريجي الجامعة قد أصبحوا في مقدمة خيارات جهات التوظيف المختلفة كما كان لما أظهره ويظهره خريجي الجامعة من كفاءة وتميز في مواقع عملهم صدا رائعا ساهم في أن تصبح تصبح الجامعة اليوم من بين أفضل 400 جامعة على مستوى العالم وذلك وفقا لتقييم مؤسسة QNS وهو إنجاز كبير تحقق في فترة زمنية قصيرة أبناؤنا الطلبة الجدد أبارك لكم إكمال المرحلة مرحلة الدراسة الثانوية كما أتوجه إليكم بالتهنئة أيضا لانضمامكم للجامعة الأمريكية في الشارقة وكما تعلمون تتميز جامعتنا بمستوى عال من التنافسية وبتطبيقها لمعايير صارمة في اختيار الطلبة المقبولين للدراسة في التخصصات التي تطرحها ويشير ما لدينا من إحصائيات إلى أنكم تنتمون إلى نسبة العشرين بالمئة الأعلى من بين خريجي مدارسكم الثانوية الأمر الذي يعتبر في حد ذاته دليلا على ما تتمتعون به من كفاءات وقدرات أهلتكم للحصول على القبول للدراسة في هذه الجامعة وهذا إنجاز يجب أن تفخرون به والجامعة مهيئة ومستعدة لبذل كل ما يتطلب من مجهودات لمساعدتكم على استثمار هذا الإنجاز وتطويره خلال سنوات دراستكم فيها ولتمهيد الطريق أمامكم للاستمرار في تحقيق الأهداف التي تسعون إليها الأهالي العزاء يعتبر لقائنا هذا المساء التدشين الرسمي لأسبوع الإرشاد الأكاديمي وما يتضمنه من فعاليات للطلب الجدد وأولياء أمورهم الكرام وتهدف فعاليات هذا الأسبوع إلى مساعدتكم جميعا على بناء فهم شامل للجامعة وطبيعة العمل والدراسة فيها وبعد نهاية هذا الجزء من لقاء اليوم نرجو منكم التوجه إلى البهو الرئيسي خارج هذه القاعة والقاعات الأخرى للقاء ممثلي كليات الجامعة ووحداتها الإدارية والذين سيقومون بالرد على ما قد يكون لديكم من أسئلة أو استفسارات كما يمكنكم توجيه أسئلتكم إلى الدكتور بيون شيرفي مدير الجامعة والأستاذ كيفن ميتشل وكيل مدير الجامعة بالإنابة وغيرهم من الزملاء نواب مدير الجامعة وعمداء الكليات ومديري الإدارات وسيسعدهم جميعا الحديث معكم والرد على استفساراتكم وفي إطار خطة الجامعة التعريفية تم وضع برنامج حافل طوال الأسبوع القادم يضم مجموعة كبيرة من الأنشطة واللقاءات التعريفية والأكاديمية والترفيهية لطلبتنا الجدد ونأمل أن تجدوا هذا البرنامج غنيا ومثمرا ومبهجا وسأقوم في فقرة لاحقة باستعراض هذا البرنامج بشيء من التفصيل وسيسعدني الرد على أي أسئلة أو استفسارات بشأنه قبل أن أختم أود أن أرحب بضيوفنا الكرام الذين يشاركون هذه الأمسية في القاعات الأخرى من هذا المبنى وذلك لضيق المكان هنا على جميع الضيوف نرحب بهم مرة أخرى مرة أخرى أريد أن أرحب بكم جميعا في الجامعة الأمريكية في الشارقة ونشكركم على اختيار الدراسة في جامعتنا وشكرا أما الآن right now you know, it's my pleasure to uh, welcome our Chancellor Dr. Bjorn Chervi to uh, speak to you يسعدني أن أقدم لكم مدير الجامعة الدكتور بيورن شيرفي
Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, parents, students. On behalf of His Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, member of the Supreme Council of UAE, ruler of Sharjah, and president of the American University of Sharjah, and the AUS community at large, I'm very pleased to welcome you to the American University of Sharjah. It gives me great pleasure to meet you, our new freshman class of more than 1,200 dynamic young men and women joining us this semester. You're among a very select group embarking on an exciting and challenging academic journey that will culminate with you emerging as graduates, becoming alumni, equipped with skill sets that will bring you success in the workplace and make you productive members of society. You're among the top percentiles of your high school graduating class, and we aim to provide you with challenging and stimulating academic experiences in a supportive campus environment. Parents, I would like to assure you that we take the responsibility of your children's education, our children's education, uh, our students' education, very seriously. We are committed to providing an enriching campus environment where your sons and daughters can receive the best overall education. All instruction is offered in English, and this will help your children become globally competitive in their chosen professions. We are truly pleased to welcome your children as members of the AUS family. Our campus is beautiful and multicultural, with 6,000 plus students from more than 90 countries. This diversity is also reflected in the profiles of the more than 375 full-time faculty members from more than 50 countries, who will be the teachers and mentors. They are renowned for their teaching and mentorship, research, scholarship, and service. We're a young university. AUS was established in 1997. Nevertheless, we have earned an enviable reputation throughout the Gulf region and in the Middle East for our academic excellence, the quality of our faculty and students and graduates, and the commitment to our students and alumni. The UAE provides a stable, tolerant, and dynamic environment. It has a fast-growing economy and population that includes people from all over the world. It is the hub between Europe, Asia, and Africa. The U.S. shares its global international outlook with the Emirates of Sharjah, the cultural center of UAE, where economy, industry, and uh, culture blossom together. Students, I would urge you to explore our campus. We have many facilities, from supermarkets and food outlets to banking services and a travel agency, as well as excellent indoor and outdoor sports and exercise facilities. I would also like for you to explore and sample the many academic choices that AUS offers, and for you to challenge yourself academically by participating in student activities and sports beyond the classroom. Resettling in a new place always poses challenges. The AUS community is known for its friendliness, and you will find everyone on campus keen to help. Just ask. At this point, I would like to introduce to you our senior university leadership. First, Professor Kevin Mitchell, our interim provost. Kevin? <laughs> Dr. Cleve McDaniel, Chief Operating Officer. Please. Once again, I welcome you to AUS and wish you great success and happiness on campus. Uh, next, please join me in welcoming our interim provost, Professor Kevin Mitchell. Um, 
رحبوا معي بالسيد كيفن ميتشل بروفيسور كيفن ميتشل اللي هو وكيل الجامعة بالإنابة Good afternoon. I would like to add to the Chancellor's welcome to new students and their families. The fact that you've been accepted into the American University of Sharjah is an accomplishment to be proud of. And I hope that it is the first of many successes that you will experience during your time at AUS. I also take this opportunity to welcome over 40 undergraduate and graduate exchange students. This evening, they're joining us from Bolivia, Brazil, Finland, France, Germany, Japan, Mexico, Norway, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States. All of you will be joining students from over 90 countries who are currently enrolled and studying at AUS. The diversity of AUS students and faculty is one of our greatest strengths. And I urge you to take advantage of all that a multicultural educational environment can offer to expand your knowledge and make connections to your fellow students. Through our student organizations, sports teams, in, and the informal interactions while walking to class. Before addressing you students, I would like to say a few words to the parents who have entrusted the education of your daughters and sons to AUS. My colleagues and I take this trust very seriously. And we are committed to providing a rigorous and rewarding educational and extracurricular experience that makes AUS a leader in education in the region. There are always challenges that come with the independence that accompanies the transition to university life. I encourage parents to have regular conversations about academic progress and about challenges. AUS provides a supportive environment, and there are many services intended to assist students, but we do expect students to take responsibility for seeking out assistance when needed. And now for a few words for our new students. You've been selected from a group of highly qualified applicants, and the university is confident in your potential for success. I use the word potential intentionally, because you must now demonstrate your ability to succeed in an environment that may differ in significant ways from your previous educational experiences. You will likely be confronted with new methods of teaching, increased expectations, and a number of competing demands on your time. Depending on your high school experience, perhaps one of the most significant challenges will be adjusting to approaching questions in an independent and analytical manner. At AUS, we are not content with describing the world around us, but seek to develop an analytical understanding of the subjects we are studying through critical questions. Perhaps in high school, the responses to your questions may have come in the form of answers. You may find that professors at AUS answer your questions with another question. Opening up more questions is not intended to frustrate you, but rather to enter into a dialogue in order to advance our common knowledge and understanding as part of this academic community that you are joining. The ways in which we explore subjects at the university will result in increased expectations. Some of you may have earned high marks in high school, but you may find that it will take greater effort to earn the same level at AUS. All of you have performed well in high school, and you will now be competing with others who have also excelled, which implies increased expectations. You will be asked to read more, and exams and other forms of assessment may be based as much on what you read outside of class as the material covered in lectures. Independence is not only expected, but it will be necessary for fulfilling the increased expectations. Of course, increased expectations will place a number of competing demands on your time. It is also important for parents to understand that a significant investment of time is necessary for success at university. Experience has shown that the greatest challenge facing new students at AUS is time management. You can expect to be in class for at least 15 hours each week, and most students will spend an average of 20 to 25 hours on academic work outside of class on a weekly basis. Academic work, extracurricular activities, and life outside the university will compete for your limited time. And you will need to develop the ability to prioritize and make decisions about how to invest your time wisely. When making decisions about the investment of time and its consequences for not doing so, some may be tempted by shortcuts 
such as submitting work that may not be your own or glancing at a friend's paper during an exam. At AUS, acts such as this are violations of the Student Academic Integrity Code, and the university takes these matters very seriously. All new students must agree to the principles set forth in the Academic Integrity Pledge. Most of you have signed the pledge as part of the online application process. Those of you who did not must sign this document in order to register for classes at AUS. This is an important document, and I suggest that you read it again carefully to ensure that you understand the responsibilities that come with being an AUS student and a member of the AUS community. Academic integrity is one aspect of ethical behavior that is at the core of the AUS community. Earlier, I mentioned the fact that you will be joining students from over 90 countries who are currently studying here. By signing the pledge, you make a personal commitment that extends to demonstrating concern for the personal dignity, rights, and freedoms of all members of this community. AUS is an institution that is enriched by diversity and by its tolerance, whether that be expressed in the way we treat each other on the sports field or when we express divergent viewpoints in classroom discussions. In a world where disagreements can be amplified in ways that affect the lives of many, AUS has a responsibility to lead by example and to demonstrate the value of coexistence and mutual respect over confrontation and conflict. Overcoming disagreement requires understanding that transcends specialized fields, and at AUS, all students must complete general education courses in areas outside their major field of study. The mission of the general education program is to offer students opportunities to reflect on an increasingly interdependent world and their place within it through art, literature, and the study of societies and cultures both in the region and beyond. The general education program is described in detail on the AUS website and in the catalog. All of you should have received the catalog. It's in the black bag that you picked up outside. The catalog is your guide to academic policies and degree requirements. The catalog and the student handbook, which has been provided by the Office of Student Affairs in the white bag you received, are very important, and I urge you to read them carefully. Both documents will be discussed during orientation week, and it is therefore essential that you attend all sessions. In 1997, His Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, member of the Supreme Council of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Sharjah, founded AUS to be the region's leader in higher education, known for excellence and innovation in teaching, learning, research, and service. As the newest members of the AUS community, you will assume responsibility for contributing to achieve this vision. In conclusion, I congratulate our new students on being accepted to a vibrant and diverse academic community. I wish all of you success as you begin this new phase of your life. Thank you for your attention and welcome again to AUS. Before leaving the stage, I want to introduce some people who are very important uh, to the institution and will be very important to you as members of the institution. The front of the undergraduate catalog, there's a list of AUS administrators, and these people are responsible for the operation, both academically and in terms of the other functions of the university. Some of those people are here tonight, and I'll introduce them to you. Let's hold our applause. And then, after I introduce everyone, then we clap. So, first, Dr. Hani al Khadi, Interim Vice Provost for Undergraduate Affairs and Instruction, who's also representing the Dean of the College of Engineering this evening. Uh, look at that. I, uh, I hope that wasn't you students. In the Interim Vice, in the vice Provost area, we also have a unit called the Academic Sports Center, which is led by Dr. Mavash Ali as director. From the College of Architecture, Art, and Design, we have with us tonight Dr. Varki Palatucharel, Dean, and Dr. Ahmed Mukhtar, the Associate Dean. All right. <laughs> From the College of Arts and Sciences, Dean Mahmoud Anabtawi, along with Associate Deans, Dr. Ahmed Alisa, and Dr. James Griffin. They must be from 
the College of Arts and Sciences. Representing the School of Business Administration, we have Dean Robert Gross and Dr. Jorg Bly, the Associate Dean. We also have with us this evening a very important person in charge of the Office of Student Affairs, Dr. Mose al Shehe, Dean of Students. And Dr. Moses' team, we have a number of people here tonight. Ms. Julia Khatino, Director of Judicial Affairs. Dr. Mohamed Halal, Director, Student Athletics and Recreation. Mr. Mankitaha, Director of Student Development and Organizations. Ms. Haifa Ismail, Director of the Student Leadership Program. And Mr. Mohamed Atif Isan, Director of Student Residential Life. You met. Mr. Ali Shuhemi, the Executive Director of Enrollment Management. There are also some very important members of his team. Dr. Christine Gross, who's the Director of the Achievement Academy. Mr. Rami Mahfouz, the Director of Enrollment Services. And Mr. Mohammed Al Shahid, Director of Student Recruitment. We also have Mr. Nabil Amire, Director of Academic Computing. Dr. Linda Angel, Director of the International Exchange Office. Ms. Linda Ataya, University Registrar. Ms. Daphne Flanagan, University Librarian. I also want to introduce some people who are in charge of some of the operational functions of the institution. You met Dr. Cleve McDaniels, the Chief Operating Officer. Also here with him this evening is Mr. Bashir Daoud, Director of Finance. Mr. Steve Crouch, the Controller. Ms. Paula Doyle, Director of Human Resources. Mr. Stephen Finn, Executive Director of Operations. And last, but certainly not least, because she's the person who keeps us all healthy, is Dr. Lubna Youssef, Director of the University Health Center. So let's give a round of applause to everyone I introduced. So good luck. And I hope to see you outside and talk to you individually. Um, welcome to AUS. Maybe we should uh, give Kevin another applause, you know, because, you know, we kept interrupted him. No? <laughs> okay, um, our next and final speaker is. Um, uh, the Student Council President, Mr. Muhammad Al Hashimi, and his team. Um, I would like to welcome them to the podium. Muhammadana Al Mukbil Hua Muhaddithana Al Mukbil Afwan, Sayyid Muhammad Al Hashimi, Rais Al Majlis Al Tullabi. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening. New students, respected, respected parents and relatives, administrative and academic authorities of the American University of Sharjah, and distinguished guests. I, Mohammed Al Hashmi, the elected president of the Student Council, am honored to welcome you on behalf of the students of the American University of Sharjah. I stand in front of you today to introduce you to the distinctive academia provided by outstanding faculty, numerous campus events and participations, and mainly, the beauty of this campus that surrounds us. A couple of years ago, I was exactly where you are, sitting on those red chairs, awaiting the next speech, and meanwhile, finding myself in front of a challenging experience. I was confused, nervous, and worried of what will I be facing? What am I going to encounter? And most, impo most importantly, what am I going to end up doing? One thing I know is, it all gets into place, and things will always find their way. You are now facing a new challenge, a new atmosphere, and a new environment. Unlike high school, you will no longer sit in the same seat every class. Actually, you no longer will sit in the same class every day. Take the opportunity to get to know whoever is around you. Introduce yourself to people. Try to interact with the people surrounding you, and take part in everything that is happening. Back in high school, it was always the teachers, your parents, and the administration that pushes you to work. Entering university, you now need to realize that this is a new stage in your educational career. The only person who's going to push you to work harder is yourself. 
Remember that nothing comes with ease. You need to work hard and put everything you've got into what you are doing. Whether it was homework, lab reports, events, or multi-million projects, hard work will always pay off. You are now at a point where for the first time you are taking a decision for yourself and your future depends on it. Whether it was the decision of choosing this university, which I doubt any of us regrets, or the decision of choosing majors, I am not saying that in order to add stress on you. I am telling you this to let you know that opportunities are limitless. It is not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. Moving on from academics, one of the most beautiful things across this campus is the interaction with people from all around the world. I have made a diverse group of friends, friends that made me love my daily life on campus, friends that I could not have made had I not taken part in the various student activities on and off campus. They will become a part of your extended family, and this campus will be your home away from home. This brings me to the Office of Student Affairs, OSA, which I am grateful, for, uh, grateful to for giving me the numerous opportunities to step forward and apply my academic knowledge. The Office of Student Affairs, headed by Dr. Moza Shihi, concerns itself with the development of student organizations and programs sport teams, cultural clubs, and the students in general. Their calendar is filled with different events and activities, hosted by the numerous number of clubs that we have, which are organized by our own students. They also hold a number of workshops, tournaments, and most importantly, the Multicultural Learning Program, which is a program that travels us around the world to a different country each time and introduce us to the diverse cultures and societies all around the world. All in all, respect everyone on this campus equally, whether it is your classmate, dorm mate, or the person who cleans your dorm. Be tolerant of the different cultures and uphold your community values. Remember, you are not only representing yourself, but also your culture and background. Make it a wonderful representation. There will be times where one might face, might face hardships, get exposed to something that is morally wrong, or might need or know someone that needs help. For that matter, we, the Student Council, are elected annually to hear from you, understand your respective problems, and help get your ideas or concerns across to the right authorities on campus. Our doors are always open at the Student Council, located at the Student Center, to make sure you know your rights as a student and to help you understand the decisions made by the faculty and the staff. We look forward to having you drop by our office and let us know about your experience, whether it is a concern or just a casual chat on the ups and downs of the university life. Please familiarize yourself with the student handbook provided to you by the university. It is also available online. I cannot stress on how important this book will be for your, student, for your university career. Now allow me to have the honor of introducing my fellow members of the 2015-2016 Student Council. Vice President Mustafa Azzeddin. <laughs> Executive Secretary and Office Director Al Anoud Dabbour. <laughs> Treasurer Taha bin Imam. <laughs> Events and Activities Coordinator Reem Al Naimi. Athletics and Sport Coordinator, Mohamed Sayyid. <laughs> Communication and Media Coordinator, Farah Hamza. <laughs> Student Organizations and Campus Service Coordinator, George Marashli. <laughs> College of Architecture and Design Representative, Mohamed al -Rukhaymi. <laughs> College of Arts and Science Representative, Rachel Mansour. School of Business and Management Representative Arim Shamsi. College of Engineering Representative Luay Farhat. Achievement Academy Bridge, Bridge Program Representative Tala Abu Salim. The next few days are very important for you to get to know us more and learn your way around campus. Please attend your college orientation to know more about your major and take part in some of the activities planned for you this week. Welcome first year students of fall 2015. Get involved, be engaged, and voice your opinion and follow your dreams. Thank you.
Thank you, Mohammed. Um, for the last part of our uh, session this uh, afternoon, I would like to go through next week's program. This is going to be, um, as, I'll do this as quickly as possible. And you have in the bag, the black bag that we gave you, the whole schedule for next week. If you don't mind, just get the copy out of the white folder. There is a copy there. So you can follow with me. And I will just go through um, a brief description as much as possible of each event. And uh, then, of course, you will have the opportunity to ask any questions that you may have after I'm done. <clears throat> okay, um, we, today, Friday, August 28th, this, is, this hall is called the uh, main, main uh, auditorium. And a lot of functions will take place during next week in this hall. Today, of course, we're having the welcome session for our new students and parents in this hall, as well as in the other halls that I mentioned earlier in the building. Starting on, uh, of course, Saturday through Thursday, um, our colleagues in student affairs will have multiple functions throughout the week. Um, they will be announcing that also in their uh, station outside, as well as in the student center. So please just, you know, check as a student or also as a parent. By the way, parents are welcome to attend any of the events that are scheduled next week. And we encourage parents to attend specifically the events on Sunday, which are important uh, events uh, because that's where the orientation and the, that's where you meet the uh, faculties or the college's representatives in the faculties, in the colleges, sorry. So st starting on Sunday, between 9 and 12.30 uh, p.m., I hope it's not a.m. Between 9 and 12.30 p.m., uh, we are going to have, a, 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 of course, a presentation as well as a discussion from academic, for academic life at AUS. Um, the provost will welcome you as well as colleagues from the various departments uh, as listed in there. And that will take place right here in this main auditorium. Please make sure you're here because they will talk about academic policies and they will talk about gradings and they will talk about what you need to do and how you're going to, do, to, to go about doing it as far as registration for courses and all of that. So please make sure you attend this event. Again, I cannot stress how important all of these events are, but I'm, I'm just emphasizing the beginning of the week because that's very important. Um, طبعا خلال الأسبوع القادم سوف يكون هناك أنشطة مختلفة في الجامعة نبدأ من يوم الأحد النشاط يبدأ الساعة التاسعة صباحا كل الأنشطة المدرجة في الجدول الذي بين يديكم احنا وزعنا الجدول عليكم في الشنطة السوداء في الملف الأبيض فإذا يعني حابين تنظروا إليه مباشرة أو على الشاشة هذه اللقاءات مهمة جدا نرجو منكم الالتزام بمواعيدها والالتزام بحضورها لأنها سوف توفر جهد كبير على الطلبة وأيضا على أولياء الأمور من حيث عدم يعني وجود صعوبات في فهم ما هو مطلوب منهم خلال الأسبوع القادم وقبل بدء الدراسة يوم الأحد الساعة التاسعة صباحا راح نتكلم عن مواضيع مختلفة أكاديمية وأيضا عن كيفية التسجيل للمواد الدراسية بين الساعة الثانية و12 بعد الظهر وثم بعد ذلك نأخذ فترة للغداء Of course 12.30 to 1.45 you'll have a lunch break At Between 1.45 and 2.45 student affairs will have a presentation as well for you basically touches on all aspects of adjusting to university life and study skills and time management that the provost had emphasized during his uh, presentation or his speech uh, earlier. So please um, also take that seriously. We also introduced the parents awareness session. If you are available on Sunday, our, our, uh, the parents of our students here who are attending with us today, um, we invite you to come and attend uh, this event or this uh, function or this session because that really will, keep, will, will give you a very good understanding of what to expect of AUS and what AUS expects from you and your sons or daughters. So if you have the time, if you have, if your schedule permits, please make sure you attend this, uh, this event. It's going to be held in Hall A which is across from the rotunda in the same building. Across from this hall, sorry, in the rotunda in the same building. 
2.45 to 4.45, this is where you meet your college representatives. So if you are a student in the College of Engineering, you will meet the dean, you will meet the associate deans, you will meet faculty members in your college, and they will guide you, and they will show you the college, and they will explain to you um, basically uh, how to start in the, you know, in the, in the college and what is expected from you as a student. And of course, so of course, you know, to introduce you to people that will guide you and help you throughout uh, your study in the college. Um, as listed on the right-hand side column, there are different locations for these functions. Please check the college. And Hall A and Hall Bs are here in the same building across from here. As far as uh, architecture, CAD, uh, art and design, this, uh, the College of Architecture, Art and Design, they will conduct their function in the uh, uh, architecture building or the college building, which is towards the end uh, on the right-hand side of this campus. Okay, 6 to 9 p.m., Student Affairs will have a dinner and reception for our students and parents on Sunday. Uh, it's open, open invitation. Please attend if you can. And Monday and Tuesday, uh, before I do this, let me go back to my other hat, Arabic. خاص سوف يعقد لأولياء الأمور الراغبين بحضور هذا اللقاء هذا اللقاء جيد لأنه سوف يشرح لأولياء الأمور نظام الجامعة ونظام الدراسة وكيف يتابع ولي الأمر تقدم الدراسة لابنه وبنته فهذا مهم جدا لأولياء الأمور الذي يسمح لهم الوقت بأن يحضروا هذا اللقاء وسوف يعقد في القاعة مقابل هذه القاعة قاعة A الساعة الثانية وخمسة وأربعين إلى الساعة الرابعة وخمسة وأربعين سوف يكون اللقاء مع الكليات برامج الكليات فنتمنى على الطلبة حضور هذه اللقاءات لأن كل كلية سوف تعقد لقائها مع الطلبة للتوجيه وأيضا لشرح متطلبات الكلية وما يجب عليهم القيام به من الساعة السادسة إلى التاسعة مساء هناك دعوة للعشاء من قبل شؤون الطلبة في المركز الطلابي طبعا الطلبة وأولياء أمورهم مدعوون إلى العشاء في هذا في هذا الوقت. Monday and Tuesday, students who did not take placement tests, I'm sure the majority of you did, but there are some students, specifically students who are joining us from outside the UAE, may not have taken the placement tests yet. On Monday and Tuesday, we do have placement tests. The schedule, you have the schedule. If you don't have it, please stop by our stations outside and they will, the testing center will give you a copy to show you what time the test will take place and maybe give you samples of the tests so you can pass. Um, actually, it's to guide you, not to pass. <laughs> Uh, these tests are uh, conducted uh, in order to determine which levels uh, of um, certain subjects that you need to start at. They don't determine whether you enroll in the university or not, okay? You are in the university already. Okay, on Wednesday, the Office of Development and Alumni Affairs will have a meeting here in the, in the main, build, uh, main, main auditorium. Uh, it's an informational session. They will talk to you from now about what to expect when you finish your degree requirements and you graduate from AUS and how that office can support you, uh, hopefully in locating a good job or maybe directing you in that direction, and also um, to support you uh, throughout your career once you are working outside the university because we want you to have that connection with AUS even after you graduate from this university. Okay, um, we also have some tours on Wednesday, uh, city tour of Dubai in the afternoon. If people are interested, they can go ahead and, you know, um, uh, sign up for it in the student affairs stations outside. On Wednesday, also, starting at 11 a.m., that's the day you start registering for your classes. Okay? The registration for your classes takes place in your college. If you don't attend Sunday, the sessions that we described on Sunday, you will not know what to do on Wednesday. 
So please make sure you attend on Sunday so they are fully aware of what needs to be done for your registration on Wednesday. All the students that we've completed their files for registration already, we've completed you know, a, a good number of students' files already to, so they, that way they can go and start registration on Wednesday. We also gave you a form or sent you a form uh, via electronic form that you need to take with you when you go and register in the college. If, you, if it happens that you don't have that form or something went wrong and you cannot print it and all of that, please, we have a station outside in the Rotunda, you know, you can come and check with us and we will give you another form to go ahead so you can register without any confusions. It's important to understand that in order for you to go and register for classes, your file should be cleared. In other words, you should have submitted all the required documents that were mentioned in your letter of admission. You should have completed all the uh, testings that we've asked you to complete. So if you have not done this yet, we are going to have stations starting Sunday outside. Please come and complete your file. Okay? The only way to find out if you completed your file is you received an email from us saying that your file is complete, this is your registration form, go ahead and register on Wednesday. If you have not received that yet, on Sunday, make sure you come to the rotunda outside so you can go ahead and finish completing your file. Thursday is a continuation of the registration process. If for some reason Wednesday, you know, you did not finish your registration, you can continue it on Thursday. But the majority of the students finish their registration on Wednesday. بشكل سريع يوم الاثنين والثلاثاء امتحانات تحديد المستوى للطلبة الذين لم يجلسوا إلى هذه الاختبارات. الجدول موجود. إحنا معطينكم الجدول سابقا وإذا غير موجود لديكم رجاء مراجعتنا في الخارج لكي نعطيكم جدول تحديد المستوى. أيضا الأخوة في مكتب التطوير لديهم في لقاء لهم إن شاء الله يوم الأربعاء الساعة التاسعة صباحا في نفس القاعة لتعريفكم بمهام المكتب وأيضا كيف كيف المكتب سوف يكون مرتبط معكم عند التخرج من الجامعة ولاستمرارية التواصل ما بين الجامعة وخريجيها. يوم الأربعاء هو يوم التسجيل الساعة 11 صباحا يبدأ في الكليات الطلبة الذين أكملوا ملفهم وانتهوا من إكمال ملفهم وصلهم منا رسالة تقول تم اكتمال الملف والورقة هذه تخول الطالب بالذهاب إلى الكلية لكي يسجل إذا لم تفعل ذلك إلى الآن لحد الآن يرجى بدءا من يوم الأحد صباحا إن شاء الله الساعة التاسعة في البهو الخارجي سوف يكون هناك ممثلين عن مكتب القبول لإنجاز هذا الإجراء وإعطائكم تصريح التسجيل في الكليات يوم الخميس هو اكتمال للتسجيل يوم الأربعاء إذا لم تستطع التسجيل يوم الأربعاء تستطيع إنجازه يوم الخميس يوم الأحد سوف يكون أول يوم دراسي اللي هو في سبتمبر 6 فطبعا بعد ما تنجز تسجيل المساقات والمواد الدراسية سوف يكون لديك جدول بناء على الجدول تحضر المحاضرات في المباني المبينة في الجدول في المواعيد المحددة بين يوم الاثنين والخميس من 31 اغسطس لسبتمبر 3 في المكتبه لديها يعني رحلات تعريفيه او برامج تعريفيه في المكتبه على مدار الساعات المذكوره في الجدول فيرجى من الطلبه يعني التعرف على المكتبه لان سوف تقضون معظم وقتكم في المكتبه صدقوني وقد تربح ميني باد ايضا اذا حضرت هذا اللقاء بعدين خلال الأسبوع كافة سوف يكون هناك تسجيل للأنشطة الطلابية الرياضية في مبنى المركز الرياضي في الجامعة من الساعة العاشرة صباحا إلى العاشرة مساء فإذا كنت أنت ترغب في لعب رياضة معينة باستطاعتك أن تذهب وأن تشارك في الفرق الرياضية في الجامعة. Lastly, you know, I just wanted to make sure that people know that we're starting classes on Sunday, September 6th. Your classes and the timings of your classes will be shown on the schedule of registration when you register on Wednesday and Thursday. Just follow the schedule and we also included a map for you for all the buildings on campus in the, in the white folder. It shows where the locations of the buildings are. And then on between Monday and Thursday of next week, 
the library has tours, various tours, in the, in the hours shown on the schedule, and they will also give away a, an iPad for people who come to these tours, so you may, you may win an iPad. And like I said in Arabic, you, know, you will spend a lot of your time in the library, so please go ahead and take that tour so you'll understand you know, how the library um, uh, functions. Also next week, you can go and register for all the sporting uh, teams if you are interested in the sports complex. With that, I stop. If you have any question, please raise your hand. We have our student helpers with mics. They can come over to you and, you know, so you can ask your question, okay? Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Okay, raise your hand, please. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I uh, wanted to check that are the buses functional for the university I'm from sure. next, uh, from tomorrow onwards? Are the buses operating for the university from Dubai and Sharjah places? Oh, the buses. You're yeah, the yeah. buses, the transport. Uh, I think, I think, I think they are. But I, I would suggest. Do, do you know uh, Stephen? St Stephen here. Stephen. Stephen. Thank you. Could I ask that you check at the transport desk outside? They will have clarity on what the bus service is tomorrow. Okay, thank you. We have a station for the bus services outside, so you can ask them for the details. By the way, most of the stations outside can provide you the details you need, you know, please. Uh, previously, uh, American University accepted students who completed 11th grade. Now there is a new regulation that you know uh, each student should complete 12 years. Yes. I have, an, I have uh, my daughter now accepted in the university, although she completed 11 years and she spent one year idle doing nothing. How can we solve this problem? I mean, uh, the student get not any benefits to continue his uh, high secondary school for additional one year. Did she take AS and A level classes? Uh, yes. Well, let's, we will talk in my office, please. Thank, Thank you. Hi. Uh, I would like to know about the availability. Yes. I would like to know the availability of the dorm. My daughter, she's from Abu Dhabi, so until now we didn't get the confirmation for the dorm facility. The dorms? Yeah. You're from Abu Dhabi and yes. you don't have a dorm room? No. Uh, Dr. Omoza, would you like to shed some light on the dorms? Or who, the Chancellor, maybe, I don't know, who would like to respond to the dorm issue? You want me to respond? Okay, Dr. Omoza. Sorry, what is the question? The question is, she's from Abu Dhabi and she doesn't have a dorm room yet. Ah, uh, sorry that we don't have any vacant now. And uh, we promise you, inshallah, if there is any cancellation happen during those days, because next week we, will, we might have some cancellation, we will accommodate a student according to their register at the dorm. So if you are lucky, inshallah, you will get room. Otherwise, you have to wait for us until spring, and you are welcome in spring. We will have a new dorm in spring. Ah, okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, you know, we're, we're almost finished with the new addition to the female dorms, and hopefully, I'm assuming within the, next, within the month, maybe within a month, it should be ready. So, not ready? Okay, so, but it will be ready for the spring semester. Okay, so uh, then we will have, hopefully, enough rooms for our female students. Th so, thanks for all this evening, actually, Dr. Ali. Thank you. And we appreciate all of these presentations, actually, from all of them, the faculties and uh, the dean of the school, Thank I you. mean, the, the manager. Uh, regarding one of the uh, misunderstanding here about the, registra uh, the registration pass. Yes. Uh, well, we did receive, yes. including with the admission uh, booklet by the mail, it's just, there is a registration pass, which okay. is a small one, which is temporary one. Uh -huh. And we did receive an email regarding the registration, if you don't bring this copy with you, you are not going to be allowed right. to register. Yes. So is there is, is there is any card or is there is any no, that, pass card? That, that letter that you received is enough. That's what you need to register. Okay, thanks. Okay? So. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, any more questions? Yes. Uh, regarding the Dubai tour, can we know the exact places you're taking us? <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about you suggest some places for them? <laughs> I, uh, it's outside, you go outside to the student affairs, they have, they have uh, hopefully, you know, the itinerary for the trip, okay? Okay, right. thank you. Okay, I, I think. Oh, one just more. one last. Yes, just yes. one last. Yes. Um, uh, concerning this um, uh, seminar on Sunday, yes. nine to twelve thirty. I know it's for students, uh, the academic life at AUS. Yes. Uh, would it be useful for parents to attend that Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. I will. I will encourage you to attend. Yes, sir. Okay. If thank you have time, please do so. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, sir. I have the question regarding the accreditation of the university. So once the uh, kids graduated from the university. Uh, if they go and apply in the American universities, uh, what are the what are the processes and what is the accreditation for accreditation? the accreditation? Yeah. Okay. We're we're an accredited institution in the United States in the UAE. Um, our students do their uh, masters and PhDs in Australia, in the UK, in the United States, everywhere. There's no problem. We've been accredited for over 10 years now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. One more question, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the event Sorry. again. Sorry, this registration pass is it yes. for the majors and the academic bridge, or only for the majors? It, uh, can you put the mic? Is it for the majors and academic bridge, achievement academic, or only for the majors? Yeah, it's uh, for both. It's for both. Once he completes his file, he will receive that letter that he can okay. go and register. So if the file is complete but the email is not received, then on Sunday he, he, he didn't. He didn't. No. 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 Although we review, we, we sent many emails to the info desk uh, confirming that. Okay, we will. Is... We will get you the pass now. There. Now. Okay, okay. Thank you.